Thank you so much, everyone, and welcome back to the program. So the incident on the floor of the National Assembly today, when the president addressed the joint session of the National Assembly, presented the 2019 budget, the politics, the issues raised, some of the reactions of the lawmakers, the national lawmakers, get us talking tonight on the program. And tonight, we've been speaking with the Senate Chief Whip, Professor Olushala Adeyeye. And I have also Gabriel Okel, who is a principal lead at Budget, an organization that uh, gets the business of breaking down budgets and its figures for us. So we get back to uh, the senator. I wanted us to talk about um, uh, the details of the budget and some of the issues raised. Maybe I should start with uh, Gabriel here. Uh, on some of the realities of what the president said today, the budget that he, pre is, he presented, the figures are a bit lower than the 2018 budget. From what you see today, Gabriel, any hopes or what are the highlights of what uh, the president presented today? Okay, so uh, thanks, Jim, for having me. The budget that was presented today, maybe uh, let me start from uh, even before getting to the budget itself, there are uh, quite a process that uh, the budget should have taken that uh, wasn't considered. Uh, if we look at it, uh, budget being presented today, 19th of December, is practically uh, of no necessary effect compared to if it is presented next year after the election. Because as it is, uh, Adley will, are we going to expect that the NAS, the House, will sit on this budget? That is one. Uh, number two is looking at uh, the, the process itself. Uh, again, presenting this budget today, we have failed again on uh, maintaining or keeping or achieving the fiscal year of January. The regularizing the, the to, realization to of regularizing the budget cycle. It. We failed that again. Uh, now, when we come to the budget itself, the technicalities of the budget uh, that was presented, uh, I would say uh, first, uh, it, it, changed from what we expected. Uh, we would have been expecting a budget figure that will be uh, a little bit higher than uh, what uh, we are currently running on, uh, 9.1 trillion, but we saw uh, a, a, a lower figure. Uh, that does not necessarily mean that uh, there is any particular consideration because when we put that vis-a-vis -vis what the president presented to the House uh, for 2018, uh, 8.3, uh, 8.8, Three is also stay higher than what the president presented. But in, in, in reality, what is the viability or feasibility of this budget? Then we come to how are we going to run this budget? It's interesting that on a day uh, uh, this, that the, uh, the, the Bureau of Statistics gave a figure showing the rate of unemployment is gone. How many percent? So 23 now. 23. Right. Uh, uh, that's and incredible. That's that an increase. Yeah, increase in, in the unemployment. And those are scary, isn't it? Uh, is this budget speaking to those kind of concerns about the Nigerian economy, about the, the M? unemployment issues, about the issues of education, what have you in, found in, in, Interestingly, when, when I saw the, the, the data released by NBS in the morning, I was kind of uh, trying to plot a graph between releasing the data today and uh, the president presenting uh, the, the budget for 2019 today. And if we look at the, the 2019 budget is still inched on, uh, the budget is going to be run by re revenue anyways. Now, if we take it back, in the last recent years, our revenue generation has practically been uh, not up to 50%, not up to average. In the last recent years, we have not even been able to break the ceiling of a 3 trillion revenue generation. And yet, uh, we have a revenue projection of, of 7.1 trillion in 2018. So it's not realistic? I, I, I really don't think it's realistic. Are we, are we in trouble in terms of debt servicing and debt, uh, so, incurring more debt? To answer that is to tell you that when you put the recurrent expenditure for this uh, budget that was presented together, plus debt servicing, is practically six trillion of the eight, eight point eight trillion that was presented. This is not a project, I mean, it's not a budget of hope, isn't it? Well, it is called the That's budget of next level, but really, representing the people, we cannot really see 
we are seeing in Nestle Windows. Oh, but um, if you look at it, uh, is it real? Uh, there are some real realities that are that are uh, seeing in this budget, considering the fact that uh, the National Assembly advised the president at the time and the executive about the oil benchmark and the assumptions that are given. That look, uh, tinker with these uh, the benchmark that you gave. It does look like the benchmark is now sixty dollar. Uh, so that, those are prospects that we are seeing. Right, uh, sixty dollar bar bar barrel. We are also seeing increase projection for uh, oil production in twenty nineteen. Put at uh, at two point three million. million. But reality, what what are we doing now? We are we are still between one point mm. eight and one point nine. We are All not right. even eight two million uh, comfortably, okay. really. Mm. Interesting. Let's, let's turn our attention again to Abuja, where the distinguished Senator Adeye is still there with us. So there's a major issue here, Senator, and it's going to be how, because the president was presenting the performance of this government. What they've done, uh, talked about how much of roads they, uh, they've uh, done in across the, as, across the land, the, the kind of welfare packages given to Nigerians. And if you see the figure from the NBS today, how do you think Nigerians uh, will be beaming of hope uh, around the programs of your government, the APC government? First and foremost, it is sad that whether in the press, in the circles of intellectuals or among politicians, we spend more time talking about implementation of budget than we spend on revenues. Government cannot implement budget unless revenues are in place. I had one of my colleagues from the National Assembly saying that there has been concern about implementation of budget, about the budget deficit. I want she and other members who talk like her to promise this nation that nobody will jack up whatever figure the president has, has submitted today by one naira. The true face across this country, even on your own program, have several in the past defended the right of the National Assembly to alter whatever is presented before it by the president. And I'm glad that the president himself did say that he was giving us a budget for our consideration, his own words. Having said that, in doing the consideration, we ought to be very sober and solemn. We ought to pay attention to the dire consequences of simply multiplying projects here and there because we want to please our constituency. I would like to please education, especially tertiary education. Some would like to please health, of course, staff welfare, pension, and so on and so forth. The truth is, only Jesus Christ can take two loaves of bread and five small fishes and feed a multitude of 5,000 and have 12 baskets left over. The president specifically okay. addressed the fact that tax revenues have gone down. He addressed the fact that oil production has gone down. He addressed the fact that due to no fault of Nigeria, right. oil price has gone down. Now, Senator. this is the reality that Nigeria has found itself. Okay. Honestly, all of us ought to cover our heads with hashes and sackcloth. Okay. Because Senator, we need to be we, in a we, we, sober obviously situation out of time. to see how we can reduce the cost of governance. Okay. Because the cost of governance, as I've said, even when, be, when being booed on the floor of the National Assembly, must be reduced. Senator, we are, we are out of time we do and so, we must go. Uh, until we do so, we are not going to get Nigerian ordinary citizens willing to sacrifice okay. to the extent that is needed to move out of this rut. Senator, we're out of time, but I must sincerely thank you. It's always a pleasure hosting you, Professor Olusha here. Thank you so much for coming on today. God bless you. Gabriel, it's a pleasure having you on the program. Thank you so much for coming. I wish okay. you had more time to talk. Yeah. But, but that's our show for today, everyone. We perhaps will have our hands more on this budget and break it down all for you to understand. That's our show, everyone. Many thanks for watching. I'm Shio Akimale. Bye-bye.